back, game number four, as this is not exactly how we expected it to happen yep. at all. Right now, Dong Regu leads the series 3-0 and after a pretty good game one and a Hulk smashing in game two and a Hulk smashing in game three. I mean, just backhanding life. Just destroying the soul of a 16-year-old boy live. Just ripping him apart. I mean, it's actually incredible that Dong Regu is playing so stably, but also having good reads on his opponent. Yeah, it really is, and it's a it's a sad thing to crush a, a small a small child's heart on stage live in front of almost four thousand people. But we're doing it here today on the Iron Squid Two Grand Finals. I want to talk a little bit about Ohana. What would be the ideal sort of play technique? Do you think for life? I mean, so so often we've seen all his builds focus on an attack, but mm -hmm. everything that he's done, Don Regu has either killed the well killed life before the attack even started, or deflected the attack and countered. I mean, what, what's your read? I think life in this situation, because it's a map that's great for defending on two bases, I think life actually has to get away from either aggressive moves or aggressive teching and mm. play a more stable style here. It's, it's something that he has. Yeah. If he's three games down, he's going to be... He has to play phenomenally solid throughout four games. And life is capable of really long, solid macro games. And I think that, I, I just think yeah. that's what he has to do. You know, what's interesting to me about the, the way life always plays is that he seems to avoid mirrored situations. Mm, we saw true. Nesti and Dong Regu totally embrace mirrored situations. Just again, doing a, a, a strong standard way of play. And then just waiting for the opponent to sort of open up the window of opportunity. Yeah. But with life, he, if he's in a situation where he's always doing something different than his opponent, it's always clear where his advantage lies. If he's going mutilisks and the dude's going roach, well great. Life has a lot of mobility, and the enemy doesn't, so we can exploit that. Mm. Or if the reverse is true. Okay, well, I need to focus on better upgrades if I'm going roaches. I need to focus on better defense and getting more infestors. I need to prevent you from getting too many bases. But I in these mirrored situations, that's where I'm most worried about life if he does do a long-term calm game. That seems to be Dong Regu's strength. Yeah, I would agree, especially with his multi-pronged uh, you know, aggression later on. Mm -hmm. Just being able to split up roaches, to utilize them to their fullest potential against places that we, uh, he's only killing economy. So, yeah. Anyway, on to game number four, as we do now have spawning up to the top left-hand corner. Three games up as our Red Zerg. He goes by the name of MVP Don Regu. And down in the bottom right position, he is on the ropes. He needs all your support. And ordinarily, we say this to the crowd, but bon fait tout to have that covered upstairs. So in chat, freak out, type away, give your support to Star Tail Life. Going for his nine pool. <laughs> and this, I actually think, is exactly what Life needs to be doing. He almost always relies on early pool in the early game. That is his strength, that is his highest win rate percentage, and now that he's down 0-3, I think going back to your best style is always going to be your best bet. No reason to try to do some intense metagaming or anything like that. Yeah, guess so, guess so. We'll have to see how DRG is going to follow this up. I think he's probably just going to go into spawning pool because he's you know, he feels he's three games up. You know, why not just play it safe and standard? I don't think there's any really huge reason to take a massive risk with hatchery first, especially on a map like Ohana. And there you go. There's normal standard spawning pool timing. And all he has to do is to deal with these zerglings, micro back and forth a little bit with his drones until so he's from Ohana. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean... Basically, right? <laughs> Life now <laughs> going to be going for six lanes. Two common transitions. One is the expected get a queen right away. The other is to actually save up and go for a uh, expansion and then for a queen. This will cause you to really get way ahead on the economy. But, of course, it's a little bit more risky without that queen. So DRG doing the normal standard thing. Overlord spots it all. And suddenly we're going to get to see, I'd imagine, 
how phenomenal life's micro is. Yeah, it's 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 a treat to watch if he's able to actually get him in the right position against that hatchery, which is normally what we end up seeing him do at the natural. As for now, DRG does have his lings on the way as well as a queen in production. Will he have enough out in time to actually uh, deal with these zerglings? This is generally where you'll see Life swing his zerglings a little to the left to try to get that concave. Ooh, with those drones coming down. This is actually going to go very far in Dong Regu's favor. Expo now started for Life. Uh, wow, second Overlord only just now started for Life. Life spots the opportunity to get the concave, goes for it, forcing Dong Regu to be off mining time. Every minute that those drones aren't mining minerals is another 40 minerals lost for Dong Regu. Yeah, but he knows at the same time he needs to have these them down there to actually uh -oh, uh -oh. deny the Zerglings. That's actually heaped up a ton of Zerglings here, though, for life. Gosh, life sacrificing all down the road economy to be able to get this critical number of 10 Zerglings out. Life decided to go uh -oh. for it. I don't like this choice for life. No. This is a poor choice. But somehow he's managed to control those Lings in that ramp. How on earth did he do that? And he finally gets the Queen as well. A few more Zerglings are on the way to deal with this, though. And will he bring out enough to actually kill off the rest of this? Life behind this is getting his expansion as well as he's up to 15 drones down in comparison to 13. So he did quite a bit of damage. You know, really often in casting, you'll make a call and something different will happen. Mm. Oh, he looks like he's going mech. He'll go Marine Marauder or something like that. And, you know, even sometimes you'll hear casters say things like, ooh, this is, I'm a little leery of this attack and it'll work out. And as a caster, you just go, ah, well, you know, yeah, yeah. it's all a probability, 60%, that shouldn't work. But, you know, it happens, that 40%. Looking at that attack at the ramp, 100% of the time, I will say that was a weak attack. That is a terrible idea, and you will kill yourself. You will throw away your edge by doing that. I am blown away. I will have to watch that replay at slowest speed to figure out how on earth life managed to pull that off. That is insane. That is an, all, an unreal level of Zergling control. It looks like now we still have the Zerglings running around trying to find a little bit of damage potential here for life. He's constantly sharking around trying to find the angles against Don Regu, but you're right with that last attack. It's, it's a very interesting thing. I think Don Regu had a few more links in front of the Queen than he was anticipating as opposed to using the links to bottle up between the Queen and the edge of the ramp. So the, the Zerglings were dying off quicker than, well, whatever. Anyway, the point is, is that yeah, DRG's uh, Zerglings, I think, were dying off quicker than they could have done whilst the Queen was, like, tanking that small spot. It's, but it's a, such a small dynamic in terms it's, of position. But it's psychotic because, literally, there's zero room for error. Zero. Nil. I mean, and, uh, and, and by that, I mean, it's you, if for some reason your units randomly rearrange themselves on the ramp in the wrong way, that's enough of an error to cost you the game and life. Opted to put himself in that situation. He got into a nice lead, but can he hold it here? His ba his own Baneling Nest getting close to finishing. Life even opts to do another counterattack of his own. Well, who Ooh. is this? Is it worth it is the question, though. That's a lot of Zerglings heading into this position. The Baneling Nest is well positioned for a defensive mode as well, though. Banelings are indeed morphing in four on the oh way. The Zerglings my will God. be able to do enough damage. Oh, time. my God. Will the Banelings come out? Can he trap them? Oh, he cancels, he cancels them. them. What? What? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, my gosh. And now we see 22 Zerglings about to pop out for Startail Life, who leads the series, or excuse me, leads the supply count 54 to 35. Uh. What? What? Uh, well, I guess he just knew that he was holding it with without even the Banelings. That is a clutch decision to make there from life, as he constantly puts on the pressure now with his Zerglings as well. A few Banelings morphing in for Don Reku. They really want to make the connections here. He and they behind. do. Ouch. Very, very nice. He needs more. Whoa, calm down. So oh, my gosh. I mean, life is electing to put him in himself in positions with zero room for error, and he keeps succeeding. Life is really kicking into clutch mode now that everything's on the line, annihilating that queen, rolling up into the worker line, keeping that lead, and look at the Jeez. production tab. Non-stop Zergling production. Life knows he has this game won. His Zergling control is just too good. Just splitting off one at a time. GG. Three to one life. You said it best, clutch mode activated.
Wow. I mean, I, 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 I want to say the exact same thing that I said during the game. 100% of the time, I would look at that attack on the ramp, even if I had paused the game, mm. even if it was two different players, I would look at that and say, don't do that attack here. Do not. You've already got one or two drones, and now you're even uh, in terms of economy. You're a little bit ahead in terms of... Me, you're even in terms of drone count. You're a little bit ahead because his drones haven't been mining. Mm. Take your victory and go home. And life perfectly controlled in a situation where there's actually 10, 20 really key rearrangements of his Zerglings that he had to do to be able to win on that ramp. And then the perfect defense of Dong Rei Goose, 30 Zerglings when life had almost nothing. And then canceling the Banelings at his own defense to be able to attack. I mean, that was the most exquisite yeah. Ling play I have ever seen, period. It, it shows the power of ZVZ SimCity mm, in yeah, terms yeah. of positioning of spine, Baneling Nest, Queens, just to really section off that area and force the Lings to run around a massive path whilst they're still taking damage from Spines, Queens, mm -hmm. um, and having to find those angles and waste so much time. It's, it's such a powerful thing in this matchup. And I, I am so thrilled that we're finally getting to see life really kick into gear and show us that exact control. Dong Regu started off 3-0. and oh, It was looking like it was about to be a short finals. But now life has started to begin what could be a sick comeback, the sickest of his entire career. But he still has a long way to go. Right now, life is down 1-3. and three. Can he do it, guys? Stay tuned. We're coming up to Game 5 right after this.